Hello everyone, Nick again here with Skog and Dickie. Today's tech video is going to be talking about your Gen 5 LT DOD or AFM Delete. Now, don't turn off YouTube or Facebook just yet. You're not seeing a video we did a year ago, I promise. That was about the Gen 4 LS. We didn't cover the LT then because the LS was the more popular choice, but we're starting to see these pick up in popularity. A lot more people are starting to do performance modifications to their 2014 to 18 trucks and Camaros and C7 Corvettes. So it's about time we covered this. It is very similar in the parts you receive and the functionality between the two engines and the two systems, but there's enough differences to merit a new video. Talk about some of the different bits and pieces that you get in this kit. So let's go ahead and talk about that. In the kit, you get a lot of the same parts. You're gonna get two brand new GM gaskets. You're gonna get 16 new GM lifters. You're gonna get also the lifter guides. You're gonna get four of these to hold the new lifters. The different lifters require new guides. Where it starts to get different is some of the other components. For instance, you do get new head bolts with your head gaskets. You got to remove the heads to get to these lifters and you can't reuse these head bolts. But these are a little bit different. You get 19 of these, look like a longer LS3 bolt a little bit. And the reason you, you get 19 instead of 20 is because there's one bolt that looks a lot different. Now, they have one bolt hole in the engine that needs to be way shorter than the rest of them so it doesn't crash into some of the valve train in the block. And I'll tell you where that is as a little tech tip. It's actually on the driver's side of the engine at the very front closest to your intake manifold or throttle body. That's where this is. Don't get this confused. Don't put this in the wrong spot or it's going to kind of ruin your day. There's also another comp couple components that you get you get a new cam bolt, or as Gene calls it, a valve, because it also works as a valve for your variable valve timing. These are required when you remove it, they're not reusable, so don't skip out on this, you're definitely gonna need it. Along with that, you do get a new balancer bolt, because those aren't reusable either. You get two new water pump gaskets. These look a little bit different than the LS, they're kind of a stamped steel shim, instead of the aluminum shim with the rubber on the inside. And of course, a nice front main seal. We don't include a front cover gasket though, because on the Gen 5 LT engines, cars, trucks, doesn't matter, the front cover, the oil pan, and the rear cover are all gray RTV. So make sure to grab a tube of that as well to complete your installation. Now, this is where it starts to get a little different. Before with the LS, you could use a non-DOD valley cover. You could get rid of that brain with all the solenoids in it that actuated these funky looking lifters that fail after so many years and miles. Unfortunately, GM hasn't made an LT application that doesn't have displacement on demand. Or should I say that they do in the LT5 ZR1s in the 2020 and newer three quarter ton gas truck, that new 6.6 .6 you might've been hearing about. Those are LT based engines that don't have displacement on demand. Unfortunately, their valley covers don't have those O-rings on the underside. They just use rivets in the block. So it saves you a little bit of money, but it's good to know that what you're gonna get in the kit are our usual DOD block off bullets. So you'll reuse your valley cover in those solenoids, you'll hook it all back up like stock, but you'll tap these in to block it off. Another thing that you have to change, just like the LS, is the camshaft. This is where it gets kind of special. LS and LT camshafts are not the same. Not only are they a little bit different in the intake and valve orientation on the lobes, there's of course the fuel lobe itself on the back here. So you're gonna have to grab one of these as well. The good news is, is that we found out that we can get a non-DOD camshaft from GM. So you 5.3 guys are in luck. This is a very inexpensive camshaft. It comes high quality from GM. So good news here, this help keeps us a little bit cheaper than it was when this first started happening. We do still get some frequently asked questions with our DOD delete kits, just like we did in the LSs. I'll figure I'll cover a few of those right now. One of the big ones originally was the oil pump. LS guys thought you had to change out the oil pump when you did a DOD delete. You really didn't, it pretty much just turned your DOD engine into a non-DOD engine with a high volume oil pump. It was kind of a benefit. But if you remember our variable displacement oil pump video from earlier this year, we talked about how the oil pumps on LTs are different. They can vary the volume and the pressure. So once you remove the system, the computer compensates for you. So no need to change the oil pump. They're all the same. The computer takes care of it for you. It's another cost saving measure. Of course, that you do have to tune your Gen 5 engine 
when you remove the DOD function. As of right now, we do not know if there are any uh, programmers or plugins. We've heard of some that disable it, but once you do an actual physical delete of the system, there's no way that those programmers or plugins that we've heard actually remove the system properly. So head down to your local repair facility or a tuning shop also has the software that you need to hard remove that function out of the computer. Another question we get about these systems is, will it work on the 19 and newer engines that come with a dynamic fuel management? As of right now, we are currently developing parts and possibly kits to delete that system. It's a little more complicated. Not only are the computers different, they're actually solenoids are built into the block on those. It really makes it complicated on how to get rid of this and especially the camshafts. So as of right now, this is really only for the 2014 to 2018 trucks. And of course your six gen Camaros, your C7 Corvettes. So for you guys that are modifying your car, your truck or doing a swap, this is for you. If you've grabbed one out of the new body style trucks, you know, the 2019 and up, we don't have a kit for you as of right now, but hopefully in the future, Maybe we'll do a third DOD video. Another question that we get asked is about these lifters. See, the oil is fed on the side here and people ask, is there, is there an orientation in the block? Do I have to turn these things a certain way when I'm putting these in here? There isn't. You can put them facing either direction. There is no right or wrong way to install these in terms of you know upside down or backwards. There is none. So there's no worries there. We really appreciate you guys stopping by for all of our tech videos. We really appreciate you guys in the comment section below giving us tips, questions that you have about certain modifications, certain parts, or certain kits we have. We're always keeping an open ear to y'all. If y'all have any other suggestions, please let us know. Give us a like, a subscribe, and a share on Facebook and YouTube. We always want to get more of you guys to follow us so we can keep you up to date on anything and everything in terms of modifications, kits, technology, or new developments. We really appreciate you guys stopping by and we'll see you next time.